All right, welcome back to episode 15, part 2. And uh, just going on what we were talking about uh, at the end of the last video was uh, the good old Spider-Man cartoon. I don't know if you guys remembered it or not, but I remember personally coming home from school not waiting to be able to turn that guy on. Uh, the style, everything about it was really cool. They did do this one really weird thing with Venom, though. I, like, if you guys do remember, I'm sure you could like, check online for it. Like, <laughs> Venom was... I know in the comics he's black, and then they do, like, a blue outline to him, but for some reason... Like, half of them was blue and the other half was red. I never understood that. Maybe it was, like, trying to be reflective light off something, but it doesn't matter. Venom was really cool back then, too. And then they botched him in the Spider-Man movies big time. Like, what happened there? Like, how do you turn somebody this cool into the guy from the 70s show? Like, Eddie Brock's a big dude, man. That guy used to, like, lift weights and stuff. And, I mean, that's a problem I find, too, with a lot of comic book movies. Excuse me. It's, like, even Magneto, like you know, original Magneto and stuff, like, he was, you know, a pretty sizable guy. And the, the point is of, like, all these superheroes and the villains is they're supposed to be able to, like, take you out of reality, right? And as soon as you make them realistic, I don't know, it breaks the illusion. Like, the only thing that actually keeps you in the, you know, the grandeur of it is the fact that they have powers and they're doing really cool things. And most of the times, when they're doing the best crazy things that you like, it's CG anyway, it's not even them. So, I, I don't know, I really wish there was a way, like, if it was like a pure CG movie, I, I guarantee you, these superhero movies would be a lot better. Like, if it was, I doubt it, but like, let's say, the X-Men movies were Avatar quality, you know it would be so much better. Or, uh, Blizzards, you know, they're like, uh, World of Warcraft, that kind of thing, like, that kind of CG, you know, it looks so much better. But anyway, uh, the Venom piece is pretty much almost done. I mean, the video is this one's not even remotely as long as the last one. Um, right here, I just wanted to say real quick, as you can see what I did with the leg there, oh, that's usually how I usually block in shapes when I'm shading. Uh, I do it in two ways. One, I'll block in chunks, like I did right there, or the other time, I'll like just sketch in, and I'll build it out, kind of like thinking of it like clay, like you're chiseling out of the piece until you can get some organic things out of it. Um, but all I'm going to do from here, I, I, I don't think I recorded it after this because it was getting a little monotonous, is the background, I make that more black, stuff like that. In the rendering, um, you can see it on the final piece. Uh, it, it's kind of boring to watch. I think I do do it a little bit here. Um, but yeah, at the end of the video, it, it'll be a brief glimpse of the actual final picture. I'll also include a link in the, the show notes here for you guys so you can see it. And uh, if you guys are interested in this, head over to my site, and uh, you, you might be able, you might want to pick it up. It's your call. Uh, I'm not trying to peer pressure anybody. But uh, I did want to say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh, you can get a hold of me on Twitter. My username is ArtByJar. Um, you can also check out my site again at www.jonathanrector.com. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the videos, guys, uh, you know, so you can keep up to date. And, uh, you know... You don't, you, you don't have to worry about missing any. <laughs> so you guys have an awesome week. And keep those lead and those styluses burning, you guys. You guys have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Take care.